This class training video will cover editing and submitting your progress reports. From the dashboard screen, you can see the best place to access your reporting is this to do's box where you see FFRs and progress reports. I'm going to click on the red box to expand my reports. You can see there's four down here that are showing due. These reports automatically populate from EAC and into Glass. To work on one from this screen, I can select this work button. To view the report, I could click on this ID number right here. I'm going to finish this report that's in progress here. So I'll click on the work button and it's going to open up a new screen. This is the progress report that you're used to with a couple of changes. You see over here, the blue bar shows me my different sections. You can navigate through them using these links. Or you can use the buttons on the bottom to hit next or cancel. As you go through each section, you'll notice that the items marked with an asterisk are required. If you don't fill those in and you try and submit your report, Glass will give you an error message. And there should be a little yellow triangle over here that's telling you something has not been completed. You can see in this updated report, we ask for expenditures for the grant recipient as well as for any subgrants. Up here, if there has been no grant activity for the recipient, I can select this box. And it's going to gray out all of these categories below. If I did have activity in one of these categories, and I would unselect this. And enter information in the category where we had expenditures, including the federal amount, match amount if applicable, and a description of the expenditures. Remember that these expenditures should match what's on your corresponding FFR. For this report, I'm going to mark that there was no grant activity. And we'll advance to the next screen. This is your subaward information. Again, check this box if you had no subaward information to report. If you do have information to report, you will deselect this one and fill in the corresponding box. And remember to select no activity for any categories that did not have activity. If you don't, you'll get an error when you try and submit the report. This is our issues encountered and significant changes or challenges. The next section is an expenditure table. It's going to auto populate from the information you have already put in. And here's our certification. Remember, the certification tab will only show up if I'm a report approver. Go in and put in my information. And then when I click sign, Glass is going to automatically put my username date and time of submission. And now I could go ahead and hit the submit button when I'm ready to send this report to EAC. Now you'll see it's disappeared from this list. So if I need to go in there and check on that report or view other reports, I'm going to start with going to my awards. In the grant program, and up here under progress reports. Now we can see the report is here. The status has changed to delivered. I can view these reports by clicking on the ID, and you can click through all of those tabs. If you need to print your report, click on page view, and then right click on the screen. Select print, 
and save it as a PDF. Once your report has been received by EAC, we'll review it and hopefully the status will be changed to approved. If we have any questions or changes for you, it might be returned with comments for you to correct and resubmit. If a report has been approved and you find that you need to make changes to it, it might look something like this. You can see we have this approved report. I'm gonna click on the ID. And up here, you can see I can update the progress report. If we click on that button, it'll open again in this familiar window where we can advance through each screen or use this blue box. That's the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in.